I, I was going to let you just look at the cheap show. I don't think anybody wants to ask anything after. I'm happy to comment on it. But, um, you know, I think we've done what we were doing last night downstairs. He's the be in charge. It looks a lot better than you right I think the citizens have to answer, but I will 
as I listen, I think about, you know, like I said earlier, you had a 15-year-old juvenile who um, was shot. He was not the intended target, but he was hit. In a restaurant where families, citizens go to eat, um, it was unexpected. It happened, and an innocent person was hit. So is it on the minds of citizens? Yes. Uh, is it on the mind of those who hear of it? Yes. Do they feel possibly there is an issue with these recent violent um, events? Yes. We see the issues that we have um, with these violent crimes over the last few weeks. We're dealing with that. We're addressing them the best that we can. We're putting our plans in place to make sure that we try to curtail these acts of violence we've seen in the recent weeks. Um, so do they feel the city is safe? I feel overall our city is safe. I think these recent events, they're in our forefront of our minds. They happen. They are shocking. I know that. I feel that. But overall, do I feel like our overwhelmingly our city is safe? Yes, I do feel that. As I said one time before, you many you may not know, I live in Rocky Mount. I am a citizen in Rocky Mount. I shop, I eat. My family and friends come to see and spend time with here in Rocky Mount. But do we have some recent concerns? Yes, we do. That does not mean what I say about I feel we're safe. Yes, we are. But do we have concerns and issues to deal with? We do, and we're going to do that to the best of our abilities. Have there been any of the eight solved cases have there been any commonality threads between them? Any oh, this is connected to that one? Um, no, sir. Of the um, eight and of the ten, there has been no con no nexus or connection between each of them. Those homicides to this point have been made to us. They all appear to be at random and separate and apart. In the state of emergency, it's in effect right now. And how long do you think it's going to stay in place? Well, you know, I can't answer that, but I feel like until we start seeing a reduced level of these incidents, I think until we start um, seeing the shootings decrease and we start seeing some of these other violent crimes decrease, I think that's going to be at the forefront. I think that's we're going to keep. I'll speak to that. Yes, sir. So I'll manage with that. Let me be quiet. Before he speak to that, um, I've been over here ever since um, 5 o'clock this morning. I've been working at Rocky Mount for 35 years. Um, been a, a life member of the Rocky Mount branch NAACP, and so I'm not from, uh, unfamiliar with this. But um, when you say is Rocky Mount safe, I feel safe coming to work at 5 o'clock in the morning. Over here all day, I shop over here. I was here yesterday. I left, went home, came back yesterday evening, and seen the police cars going to Chili's. And, um, you know, like I said, I feel safe. But I want to see um, is Rocky Mount, Nash, and Edgecombe Sheriff Offices uh, do more uh, proactive um, being in the neighborhoods, stopping traffic. I've seen you all stopping traffic when I'm coming into Rocky Mount at the, at the um, uh, bypass uh, 64 and um, 064. But I would love to see you out in the community in different neighborhoods stopping cars, checking them out, and you probably can find guns and drugs and all that. So I would like to see more of that. I got a good rapport with the National and Inchcombe County Sheriff's Office, uh, starting one with you. But I think just need to be more pre uh, proactive stuff going on with inside these neighborhoods. Rocky Mount is safe. And I think the, the media and uh, these social media sites is the ones that's pumping it up. Because, like you say, it's that random. People are not just, I'm going to say this, so I'm going to leave you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to shut it down. I, I got a daughter living in Maryland, and when that the, the guys, the daddy and the son was shooting um, uh, people at random, I stopped going to Maryland to get my daughter because I was going to be in the line of fire if it was to happen. I don't feel that in Rocky Mount. I know a lot of people here, got a lot of family here, and I think Rocky Mount is safe. This is where I got to shop at. We don't have any stores in Edgecombe County. So I'm over here. I spent most of my life over here. 35 years, been at Honeywell 35 years. So Rocky Mount is safe. I'll say that myself. As, like I said, I just want to see more collaboration with you guys in certain neighborhoods, because I've seen it working out in the county, Prince Real, at different places, and they're stopping cars, getting guns, drugs, and all that. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Thank you for the question. You know, we um, make sure, like with our enhanced focus patrols that we just recently started, 
um, looking at where we're having crime issues and making sure that we put focus, attention to high visibility patrols in those areas. Um, I expect my commanders and my staff to be very proactive, be visible, not just on the main thoroughfares in our city, but also the variety of our neighborhoods and communities throughout our city. So I will make sure I speak with my commanders and ensure that we are doing that as much as we possibly can, be more visible in our neighborhoods. Senior Mayor. Mayor, you want to sorry. So I think the question was uh, about the state of emergency. And so I think really what we need to take up from that is it's largely symbolic. States of emergency are generally declared to provide access to federal and or state funds during some sort of natural disaster. In this particular case, it's just to be in support of our chief of police. And if you were to recommend to me a curfew, if you were to recommend to me any other action that we need to pay to help, uh, help him during this process, I'm clearly available to do that. I'm willing to do that. And that's really what the state of emergency is designed to illustrate. Mayor, in your first statement yesterday about gun violence, you said that because the shooting was seen to be drug and gang related and targeted, that you felt that the public was not at risk. In light of the events of last night and the state of emergency, has that position changed? I still feel like the public's not at risk. You know, I can only take advice from uh, our professionals like the chief. I feel safe in the community. I believe what happened last night at Chili's uh, was despicable, it was difficult, and, uh, and um, my heart goes out to everybody involved in that, particularly the innocent um, victim in that case who was an employee of Chili's. I'd like to say one last Thank thing. You. I also would Please like for you. Shopping. I would also like for you to, we keep talking about overall, but I think until we start dealing with it case by case, get to the root cause and analysis, nothing will get done. People are always adding more to the story. We're dealing today with the most recent shooting. Right. People bring up drugs and all that. I know all that goes together, but we got to start somewhere and do a root cause and analysis. Well, I think, you, I think you saw that in a lot of discussion the council were having. You know, it's not just as simple as an item. There, nothing is isolated, and so I think you were seeing a lot of discussion about how do we kind of integrate these different initiatives, and maybe even focus on prevention. And I think that'll be something that we'll try to do. I don't know that the city is 100 responsible for that, but I think what you should be hearing is that it's a reach out to the community as a whole. If you have tools that help us combat this, please bring it to the table. Let's have that conversation. Good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, uh, all of you, for coming. Um, I want to let you know the police department put out a couple press releases this morning. One about a uh, incident involving some shots that um, were fired on Casey Lane, and then we've identified a suspect in the uh, Sunset Avenue homicide. Um, you guys should all have those. We will uh, continue to put out information about what's been going on, and we appreciate you all coming. Thank you. Thank you.